We have seen a flattening in the number of new cases over the past uh, week or so, but we are still not where we need to be uh, in terms of the total new cases that we're seeing. Uh, I do know that the mandates uh, are, have been a significant burden on all of us. We have all made sacrifices over the weeks and months um, since this COVID pandemic started. And I know that many of you feel trapped at home uh, and businesses and people all across the state are suffering. Uh, every week I hear from increasing number of people across the state who are impacted by the economic downturn and families have struggled and continue to struggle to make ends meet. And many are worried about whether they would be able to make the rent. And clearly we want to keep people in their homes uh, because we don't need additional who are homeless uh, during this very, very difficult time. Earlier this year, I, I ordered a moratorium uh, statewide on rental evictions that is effective through the end of September. But we must do more to keep families in their homes. Today, I'm pleased to announce the launch of the State of Hawaii Rent Relief and Housing Assistance Program. I want to publicly thank our private sector partners, the Aloha United Way and Catholic Charities who will help us administer this program. Working with the legislature, we directed $50 million out of the 100 million Federal CARES Act funds appropriated for rental relief. This first phase will provide vital program to provide rentals with assistance in making monthly payments uh, from August 1st through the end of the year. Final details for the second phase, which covers rents and mortgages from March 1st, uh, will be announced uh, shortly. The remaining balance of $50 million will be dedicated to support this program. In total, we are providing $100 million to the people of Hawaii to help them pay for housing, stay in the housing that they have uh, at this time. The rental assistance program will be much needed, will be a much needed reprieve for Hawaii households trying to make ends meet during this difficult times. Uh, with me today is Denise Iseri Matsubara, Executive Director of the Hawaii Housing Finance Development Corporation to discuss the details of this program. Also with us today are our private sector partners, Rob Van Tassel from a Catholic Charities, and John Fink from Aloha United Way. I also want to uh, send a special thank you um, to Senate President Ron Kochi and Speaker Scott Psyche and all the members of the state legislature who recognize that helping our community and helping people in our community is priority for all of us uh, during this pandemic COVID-19 crisis. Uh, and and I did want to also announce that we received word this morning that another week of unemployment benefits uh, will be provided. Uh, so we will be able to provide $300 additional U UI benefits uh, for a total of five weeks uh, since the end of July. Uh, all of us need to work together in order for us to battle COVID-19. Uh, it starts with us taking a personal um, responsibility uh, and doing all that we can as individuals to help fight the spread of COVID-19. It means that you stay home when you're sick and keep your children home when they're sick. Uh, we need to avoid a social face-to-face -face interactions. It's about washing hands and using hand sanitizer and doing all the things that we know work to stop the spread of this virus in our community. Um, we can only be successful together as a community to control COVID-19. So please uh, take care of yourself take care of each other, and most importantly, help to take care of our community. Thank you. Thank you very much, Governor. Our next speaker is Denise Isari Matsubara, Executive Director, HFDC. 
HHFDC, I should say. Go ahead. So good afternoon. Thank you, Governor. We are so glad that we can now offer this new program because we know the need out there is so great. If you're unemployed or partially unemployed due to the pandemic and your household income is at or below 100% of the area median income, then you may qualify for financial assistance under this program. It's not a grant or a loan. It's a payment to help those at risk of eviction through no fault of their own. So the state would like to help with rent payments of up to $2,000 per month on Oahu and $1,500 per month on the neighbor islands. Payments will be made directly to landlords through our nonprofit partners and can be made in lump sum amounts for up to three months at a time. For more information, please visit our website at hi housinghelp.com. We really want to thank the legislature for their early and continued support and having faith in us to deliver. You know, getting to this point took a lot of effort and I just want to thank my team at HHFDC for the long hours they put in to pull this program together in a short amount of time. We also want to recognize James Koshiba for his critical role on the House COVID Housing Subcommittee in working with stakeholders from the community to lay the foundation for this program. And last but not least, we want to thank Pam Woody Oakland, the Director of Community Services at the City, for sharing her experience and helping us minimize some of the confusion and issues that emerge when designing a new program. And to make all of this work, it takes good partners and that's why we're we are administering this program through two very well-known well-established nonprofits that have been around for decades catholic charities hawaii and aloha united way and joining us today are their ceos rob van tassel of catholic charities hawaii followed by john fink of aloha united way thank you very much denise and we'll move on to rob Van Tassel, President and CEO, Catholic Charities Hawaii. Thank you, Denise. Thank you, Governor. Aloha. Catholic Charities Hawaii is grateful to have been selected by the state to provide emergency rental assistance to the residents of Hawaii. We thank Governor Ige, the state legislature, and our congressional delegation for these federal CARES funds designed to help the people of Hawaii during these urgent times. Our dedicated statewide organization has been serving Hawaii for the past 73 years with core values of compassion, dignity, social justice, and a commitment to excellence. Many of our existing programs address housing and homelessness, including rental assistance. This is what we do. This is who we are, and we're honored to help. We serve everyone, regardless of faith or culture. Catholic Charities Hawaii understands that many have been furloughed or lost their jobs through no fault of their own and now they need financial relief. This program works to keep people in their homes, safely sheltered, and ensures landlords are properly compensated. People are being asked to stay at home during this pandemic. So the focus right now must be that we all have a home. This program makes a big step towards accomplishing that goal. Both nonprofit organizations have reached out to other groups, ensuring that we can reach as many people who are as qualified. Catholic Charities Hawaii is partnering with local renters, realtors, labor unions, and other nonprofit groups to reach those who need rental assistance. It's important to note that this assistance program is open to anyone who qualifies and is available on all islands. The application form is available at our website 
CatholicCharitiesHawaii.org. If you believe you qualify, please go to this website. You may also call 521-HELP. That's 521-4357. For those laid off or for the for their jobs for the first time, this is a very traumatic experience. Please know that we're here to help and provide hope. Please call our number, 521-HELP, or go to our website, and we will assist you. Mahalo. Now I'd like to introduce the President and CEO of Aloha United Way, John Fink. Thank you, Rob. Mahalo to Governor Ige, Senate President Kochi, Speaker Saiki, Denise Matsubaro with the Hawaii Housing Finance and Development Corporation, and others who helped to make this initiative a reality. AUW is honored to work across sectors with public officials and in alignment with Catholic Charities Hawaii to help as many people as possible through this rent relief program. Aloha United Way has been serving our community for 101 years and we will continue to serve our community as we get through this pandemic and deal with the after effects. AUW is a natural fit for a program of this magnitude. Our 211 helpline is a vital part of the Hawaii State Department of Health's COVID-19 emergency response plan. 211 is the state's primary community referral and information center day in and day out. You can call it seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Our weekly call rate is up over 600% since the pandemic began six months ago. With 211, AUW supports people with questions and concerns, providing links to those who call about food deficiencies, housing and shelter concerns, physical ailments, including non COVID 19 medical issues, mental health concerns, child care issues, elderly needs, and other areas. AUW is properly staffed, experienced, and ready to act as a provider and conduit for this funding in an effort to save thousands of families from possible eviction and the many compounding ramifications that occur when families cannot pay rent. The AUW funding for this program will be distributed through our traditional nonprofit partners and through our new partners, various local credit unions, who will process applications and deliver rent payments of up to three months at a time in the most expeditious way possible once forms have been correctly filled out and approved. We all know how dire the situation is. We all know how frustrated people are during these uncertain times. We know that everyone is zoomed out, but let's not zone out. Please stay safe and be smart. This is a moment to embrace solutions, come together, help each other, get through this pandemic, and look for ways to retain the physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional health of our community in the tough months ahead. Even before the pandemic, almost 200,000 local asset-limited, income-constrained, employed families, known as Alice, were already struggling to make ends meet. We have heard stories of people who traditionally give through AUW workplace campaigns, but are now being furloughed. Therefore, they wisely call 211 looking for help. The current economic contraction has put housing at risk for Alice families and others. This program will help people hold on to what they work so hard for. The program is about more than statistics and daily counts. It's about real people we can help. Coworkers, neighbors, family, and friends. AUW's message related to this program is simple. We're here to help alleviate the gnawing sense of hopelessness and helplessness and to keep people from the possibility of homelessness. There are resources available right now, thanks to this new program from the state of Hawaii. If you qualify, let this program work for you. If you're eligible for rent and relief funds, ask for funds. If you need help, whether it's today, tomorrow, or next month, it's okay to ask. You need to be healthy to help your family stay healthy. Please let us get you the help that you need. Mahalo. Thank you, John. Our next speaker is Senate President Ronald Kochi, who's joining us by Zoom. Senate President. Thank you. Aloha. Uh, I also want to thank the governor and his administrative departments for their work. Uh, our 
nonprofit public partners uh, for working together with us, the help from the city, uh, certainly to Speaker Psyche and our colleagues in the State House uh, for the package that was put together. Uh, I would like to acknowledge uh, both Chairs De La Cruz and Luke in the House, uh, the money chairs for the work that they did. Uh, on our side, I know Senator Morawaki has worked closely with Senator De La Cruz in trying to implement this program, so uh, I want to acknowledge her efforts as well. As it's been mentioned, we're incredibly concerned about not uh, adding to our homeless population, about helping people who are facing difficult times through no faults of their own. Uh, but the other part not mentioned, real estate has always been a part of a long-term uh, investment strategy and part of the retirement planning for many of our mom and pops. And what was really fantastic about what Chairs De La Cruz and Luke put together is strategies to help tenants to make sure that they can stay in their housing while at the same time ensuring that the landlords would be able to get the funds they need to continue to pay their mortgages so that uh, those who are planning on this as a retirement strategy uh, are also not people who are going to be lost due to the economic hardships of COVID-19. Uh, the most important message I can give to all of you besides applying is we did see that there was bureaucratic red tape that made it difficult for some of the city money to de get deployed quickly to those of you who need it so badly. Uh, as we try to do this job to uh, assist and work with you to ensure you can stay in your homes, if there are any problems that you are encountering, please contact us so we can make sure that this program does what it's intended to do, to deploy these funds to those of you who need it as quickly as we can to ensure that you can stay in your homes. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senate President Kochi. We move on to Speaker of the House now, Scott Psyche. Can you hear us, Speaker? You need to unmute. Yeah, I can hear. I can hear, thank you. So I'd just like to thank um, everyone who has already been mentioned. I'll just be very brief about that. In addition, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Representative Nadine Nakamura and Representative Della Bilotti, who assisted with the development of this initiative. Um, when the House of Representatives created uh, our select COVID-19 committee in March, we realized that one of the top issues that needed to be addressed was uh, families who rent their homes. Um, in addition to unemployment insurance, we knew that rent assistance was something, was a cliff that we would need to address. Uh, so we formed a subcommittee on housing and homelessness that was chaired by James Kashiba. James uh, put together a committee of about two dozen uh, community members, community leaders, and they worked uh, feverishly over two months to research and to analyze data and to draft a proposal to create a $100 million rental assistance program. And that their report was the genesis of the, uh, of the, of the program that we funded, uh, that the legislature funded in the CARES Act um, a couple of months ago. I really want to thank James and his committee members uh, for all of the work they put into this, into this proposal. If it wasn't for them, we may not have a comprehensive program on the books right now. Um, this is, um, as I mentioned, we know, we know that rent assistance is, is one of the most important uh, issues in our state at this time. Um, there was a moratorium, and there still is a moratorium on evictions that is in place. But we know that the moratorium is not even one half of the solution to this issue because even with the moratorium, back rent is still due and owing. At some point, families will have to pay for their back rent. And this program will assist renters, not just with their current rent, but also with paying their back rent. So this is a, um, um, this is really, a, um, this was a priority of the legislature and the administration to bring direct relief to families that are most in need 
and who want to remain in their homes.